It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. October 30 is the last day to register for the May 9, 2022 elections. There will be no voters' registration extension, according to Attorney Wilfred J. E. Balisado, Director of the Commission on Elections in Region 6. Would-be voters should come early to registration sites. Anticipating an influx of registrants, election offices are utilizing bigger registration sites such as gymnasiums and malls. Western Visayas has more than 4.7 million voters so far. Comelec reminds potential voters to wear face masks and face shields, observe social distancing and bring hand sanitizers upon registration. They are also encouraged to bring their own ball pens to reduce the risk of contracting coronavirus disease 2019. People must also bring valid identification cards. The Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency is on the lookout for drug peddlers financing local candidates in the May 2022 elections. Pidea will not allow it, according to Regional Director Alex Tablate. Pidea 6 will coordinate with the Police Regional Office 6 to review the list of target personalities. Tablate also appealed to the public to help them monitor narco politicians. The Regional Police Office disclosed recently that there are no more known big time drug personalities in Western Visayas after top drug suspect Ernesto Bolivar died. There are, however, a few drug groups being monitored in Bacolod City and Negros Occidental. Bolivar reportedly died of COVID 19 in Manila early this month. Bolivar fled the region in 2019. Piero 6 Tag Bolivar is the number one drug personality in the region following the deaths of suspected drug lords Melvin Odicta Sr. who was gunned down on August 28, 2016 at the Katiklan Jetty Port in Male Aklan and Richard Prevendido who died in a shootout with policemen on September 1, 2017 in Barangay Balabago, Haro, Iloilo City. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources is looking at the possibility of increasing Boracay Island's carrying capacity so more people can visit this world-famous tourist destination. Boracay's carrying capacity at present is about 19,000 people daily, but it's time to study such matter as the government-led rehabilitation of the island resort considerably improved conditions, according to Environment Secretary Roy Simatu. He will ask the NR's Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau to study if the number of people who visited Boracay increased, noting the rehabilitation boosted this island's capacity to accommodate tourists. Tourists mainly flocked to Boracay's western portion before the government began rehabilitating the island. This time, however, there are tourists even in Boracay's eastern portion, said Simatu. Such portion used to be notorious for its cesspool-like beach and waters. It is clean already. In 2018, the government began rehabilitating Boracay Island to prevent further environmental degradation there. Among the government's rehabilitative activities in Boracay are cleaning up waters, enforcing easement requirements, and improving solid waste management. And those were tonight's latest headlines. This is your anchor, Elisha Lasaria Pumida. Good evening. For more stories, check our website, www.panaynews.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grab the digital copy of Panay News on Press Reader. Read Panay News via the Inquirer Plus app and avail a free 30-day trial. Join Panay News community on Viber. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing.